What works, what doesn't. We can save this poor toaster oven. Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today's how to clean video is going to be a little different than normal because I'm going to be learning how to clean alongside with you. We are going to try to tackle this toaster oven. It is an absolute disgrace. But I'm going to go through all the different methods and cleaning products, etc. that I found online and see what works, what doesn't, and we'll see if we can save this poor toaster oven. Just a heads up to not use any oven cleaner on your toaster oven. Kyle, my boyfriend, he tried to clean this toaster oven about, I wanna say six months ago, maybe a bit longer, and it kinda of stripped things away, and anyway, we ended up just leaving it and it's gotten progressively worse. So that's why it looks the way it does, and learn from our mistakes, do not use oven cleaner in your toaster oven. Before I get started, I'm just gonna unplug the toaster oven and lay down garbage bags where I'm gonna be working because you never know how a product might react to your countertop. And you wanna catch all those crumbs that might be coming out of the toaster. And I'm just gonna get all of our supplies, cleaning vinegar, baking soda, stainless steel cleaner, and Barkeeper's Friend, which ended up being my favorite and then a whole bunch of different sponges and cloths to try. Next, I'm going to make the baking soda paste, which is three-fourths of a cup of baking soda and one-fourth of a cup of cleaning vinegar, and you want the consistency of a shaving cream. Now, again, learn from my mistakes. I used this and I kind of started scrubbing around and getting what I could off. However, I think it would have been more time efficient and better if I had just left it overnight right away. Okay, it's somewhat working, but um, I'm going to let it sit for a bit. So I'm going to make a really, really thick paste and let it sit and then work on the stainless steel. When I first started trying to clean the stainless steel, I used just normal stainless steel cleaner in a microfiber cloth, and that really just wasn't strong enough. I still recommend starting with that though, because if you can get away with a gentler cleaner, you want to do that. So when that didn't work for me, I moved on to Barkeeper's Friend, which a whole bunch of you actually suggested to me, and holy cow, I love this product. It works so well and just got rid of that discoloration. As you can see, we had a um, bag of bread on top of the toaster oven and it kind of melted on. The Barkeeper's Friend did work on this, you just had to scrub a little bit. The actual stainless steel cleaner didn't touch it at all, didn't work at all. So yeah, again, Barkeeper's for the win. brought the tray into the sink and I scraped off and wiped off any sort of crumbs that were caked on but could easily come off and then I used the paste to scrub as well again I would probably have just been better off to leave the paste on overnight of baking soda 
and vinegar and just let it sit instead of trying to scrub it off right away. Again with the grate, I just wanted to get any loose crumbs or anything that was easy to come off, off while I could in the sink. Um, but the real transformation happens a little bit later on. actually trying to use Barkeeper's Friend on the door of the oven because I read that it's really really good for the glass. I don't think it was necessary though. Like I said before, I could have just left the paste in overnight and been just fine. But the Barkeeper's Friend did work on the inside too so I guess it really depends on how messy your toaster is and which one you want to try. Popped the tray and the grate into a bucket of water with vinegar, dish soap, and warm water and let it sit for a couple hours to see if that would help loosen any of the gunk. Then I went to town, started scrubbing, and a lot, a lot came off the grate, but the tray not so much. Okay, here is what it's looking like so far. So given everything, a really good scrub, but I haven't tried leaving the baking soda on it. So I think I'm going to put the paste on the inside overnight, leave it and see how it goes. These have also been sitting for a few hours and I was able to scrub a lot off of the grill. Um, it used to all be the black there, but this part here, the tray, is uh, not looking so hot. So again, I think we'll leave that overnight, let it soak, and see what happens. All right, it's the next day, and look at the color of that water and vinegar. So this has come off pretty clear and this, believe it or not, has come off a bit but I don't think that there's any hope for this <laughs> to be honest. But let me know if you have any suggestions of how to fix this. Moving forward, obviously learned our lesson, we're going to put a um, aluminum foil over it for sure but yeah, let me know if you have suggestions on that. After the paste sat overnight, I went in with just a wet cloth. I used a white one just so we could really see how much gunk came off and just wiped everything down. This is a timely process and I haven't found a trick for it. It takes a while to get all of that baking soda actually out of there. You can go in with a vacuum first and get any loose bits and then you really do need to use the cloth to wipe everything. Here is 
the after. It's definitely not perfect, but it's looking a lot better. Um, we aren't going to take the tinfoil off that tray because that tray I think needs to just be replaced. But a lot of the gunk came off, a lot of the discoloration came off here, and then we had that melted plastic bread bag on top and that came off right away just with like stainless steel cleaner. So that's pretty good. Yeah. So that is the best I could do. Let me know in the comments below if you have suggestions on how to fix it further.